I'm from Huntington, Long Island. Loved it there, loved the water. Moved here oh, about 32 years ago. Came to work at Procter & Gamble. Came out of business school and ended up there. So what am I doing painting now? <laughs> well, I guess the painter in me was always there. I, as a kid, I grew up, my mom drew and painted and she taught me early on how to draw and it sort of came uh, in a good way. She taught me about perspective. There's another great mentor named Woodle Young. He was a fisherman on the harbor. I sort of wore him down, chased after him in, the, in his boat and he'd always be catching fish and he took me under his wings and taught me about drawing, taught me about life, taught me how to fish and the, I never got to paint. I was drawing all the time and then when I was 12, a guitar came under the Christmas tree and that kind of changed uh, the focus from creativity from art to music and stayed with it. Uh, when I was 21, I got involved with the mandolin and uh, to this day I still play and record and, and write. The art came about from my oldest son, uh, the painting side of it. In 2007, he was out in California, he came back, and we normally go on the river kayaking, we are going to do that. I said, he said, let's do something different today, let's paint. I said, oh, interesting, Let, let's try that. So we set up outside in the yard here and just started painting, and he's a very good artist. So I was not so good, but kind of got hooked, and uh, so I didn't actually grab a paintbrush until I was 51, which is like 2007. And then since then it's been, I mean, I've been so fortunate to discover it late in life, but got a lot of catching up to do, a lot of discovery to do, but that's part of the journey, which makes it a lot of fun. More recently, I, I've been blessed to be mentored by C.W. Monday. I, I paint with other painters too, and you know, you're always learning. It's, it's a, an unending journey, there's so much. And um, you know, I just I think the other thing that's important is I paint a lot, and I, I've had to make up a lot in a shorter time. But I, I paint as often as I can. I paint frequently, and if it's not working out, I scrape and try to figure out what I learned from that, and then reapply for the next. Because we all struggle, we all have our times it it works and the times it doesn't. So I try to learn from all those experiences. I love the spontaneity and it's one of the things that draws me to paint on location and paint from life is just that moment that's there and you have limited time everything's changing the weather the light you know the surroundings and you have to capture that and trying to simulate all that in in that short amount of time that's my favorite part and it's really that that part of it you know I backing up I try to make sure that it's all the right design ahead of time but when I get ready to go, I think through what I'm trying to do and come up with something. When you travel, it's really neat to be in downtown Paris, uh, uh, painting the, you know, along the Champs-Élysées and have people come up to you. Just engaging with people while you're painting, it's neat. Um, you know, wherever that is, uh, if you're in the main coast and you're out painting on the docks, you know, you get some sailors come in, it's really neat to have them. You get a conversation, uh, you paint some lobster boats, but you, I start talking about them and what they're catching and all, and you just get a relationship going from what you're painting and they're interested, you're interested, and it's, it, it's a connection, which makes it really fun and exciting.